What's up, y'all? All right, so again, y'all probably tired of me saying this, but I'm going on vacation next week. Um, starting Sunday, I'll be in Washington State. Uh, I'm going to try to get the In Real Life Basketball videos out to y'all while I'm on vacation. Also, I'll try to react to a couple of final games that's going to happen while I'm out there, too, and get them out to y'all. Um, probably have my wife's cousins react react with me. Um, also, this coming Thursday, I'm going to try to have a Warriors fan <laughs> react to the game with me. See if they can hold off not watching the game. It's hard. It's hard. I know it's going to be hard, but I'm going to see if they can sacrifice one game um, to come react with me. So y'all can have y'all <laughs> have y'all Warriors and Cavs interaction <laughs> on the video. Um, also, yeah, we uh, finna watch this video. It's a... Uh, Five Reasons Why the Cavaliers Will Win the NBA Finals. We just watched the other one, Five Reasons Why the Warriors Will Win the NBA Finals. And he gave some good reasons. I ain't gonna lie, he gave some good reasons. So I'm uh, I'm eager to hear what he has to say about why Cleveland uh, is gonna win the Finals. So anyway, let's not waste no more time. Y'all ready? Let's go. So the NBA Finals are starting in a few days. This NBA season was one of the most boring in a long time and basically, everyone expected exactly what happened. The yep. Cavs and the Warriors steamroll through. I don't think anyone expected the Warriors to sweep the West, and I don't think anyone expected the Cavs to only lose one game, but both of them happened. In this video, I'm going to be talking about five reasons why the Cleveland Cavaliers will beat the Warriors in the NBA Finals. This is not me predicting anything. I'm going to be doing one of these tomorrow for five reasons the Warriors will win, and to be honest, I, yeah, I watched can't them out of order. Way. I know whatever. Warriors are massive favorites, but in my opinion, this year is, it's just too close to call. It's too close to call. The first reason why I think the Cavs yeah, can see. win the NBA championship is Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving has established himself as one of the best big game players in basketball. While I wouldn't put him on the level Last of, year? say, Steph Curry, Russell Westbrook in the regular season, in the playoffs, it's a different story, and especially, especially in big games. True, Kyrie true, is one of true. the most clutch players in the league. He's one of and the he's best speaking, offensive he's speaking players on the in the right league. Now. That's facts. And he steps That's up facts. big That's time like in big games. In last opinion. year's finals, he outplayed Steph Curry. And I think if he outplays Steph Curry again, the Cleveland Cavaliers have a great chance. Next up, we've got the rest I give period him in between the conference finals and the finals. So, both teams are going to be looking at this the opposite way. <laughs> yeah, the Warriors did have a longer rest period, but the Warriors are a young team. Young teams uh, don't need long rest periods, and the longer they're out for, the worse they'll play, as shown by their game one against the San Antonio Spurs, where it really took hmm, them till Kawhi hmm. Leonard went down to hit their so strike. They wouldn't have LeBron. won that game if Kawhi hadn't been injured, but I still think they would have comfortably won the series in five and or six out of push games. The Cleveland Cavaliers, however, are a much older team. Like, they're one of the oldest teams in basketball. And for that reason, <laughs> these type on, of players man. need a much longer rest. The Boy, Cavs have a lot of players who will benefit big time from the couple of days rest before the finals. And I think that the veterans that they have will definitely come more ready to play, especially in game one. And game one could be crucial to, Damn, to see who decides needs. this final series. Next up, we've got the three-point shooting. I know you might be saying, oh, the Warriors are probably the best three-point shooting team in the league. But well, not in this year's playoffs. Yeah. In this year's playoffs, I mean, the Cavs have shot over two three-pointers more than the Golden State Warriors. I've been game. saying this. And they're also shooting it at a much higher percentage. I've been saying that too. They're shooting 43.5% I've been saying it. Three, and Golden State are only shooting 38.9%. Sam, Warriors have better overall difference. shooters. Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving but are in the playoffs. above 40. And J.R. Smith is also shooting 45% from three. And even though Kyle Korver has struggled, he's still shooting 41%, which is quite good. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I like it. I like it. I like it. Golden State like it. in three-point shooting firepower. Don't like get it. me wrong. Steph Curry is the best three-point shooter in the league. Yeah. But people like Kyrie, Kyle Korver, Kevin Love, J.R. Like Smith this, aren't that far off. And especially with their big men on their bench, Cleveland definitely, overall in the grand scheme of things, do shoot better than the Golden State Warriors. Reason four... History. Historically, the Golden State Warriors have come up short in big games against the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I'm not talking about the 2015 NBA Finals, because Kyrie didn't play, Kevin Love didn't play, and the second best player in the Cleveland Cavaliers was Matthew Dellavedova. 
how the Cavaliers got it to six games, I still will never know. Last year, you know how LeBron, Warriors bro. What you mean? Hell, yeah, you mean? Managed to lose it to the Cleveland Cavaliers. Heck, you mean that how? Is either going LeBron. To make the Warriors more hungry and make them play better, or it'll still sit in the back of their mind and it'll make them play worse. We don't know yet. The finals hasn't started, but. It could go the opposite way that they remembered being down 3-1. If Cleveland go and maybe win game one um, in Golden State, Clean. then it might just completely nice shift the right series there. in Cleveland's direction because we don't know how strong Golden State are mentally. And then there was the Christmas Day game where the Warriors had a big lead and the Cavs came back. Kyrie hit the game winner. We all know what happened there. So we don't actually know how strong the Golden State Warriors are mentally. They cruised through the Western Conference, but they haven't been challenged yet. And neither has Cleveland. But Cleveland are veterans. And all people think about the Warriors is them choking last year's finals. So, who knows what they're going to do. Whether they're going to just be, perform very poorly, I mean, or whether they're going to do what LeBron did in the 2012 finals after having a terrible 2011 finals and step up big time. Who knows? Cass and the last the reason, last five. I'm the just best saying. player in the world, That's LeBron That's the main James, reason, bro. What you mean with the last reason? That's the main reason right there, bro. The best That's the main reason. His career. You know LeBron's had a good playoffs when all people have been talking about is who is better, LeBron James or Michael Jordan. I'm not going to give my opinion because whatever I say will just it's be met be by wrong. hate in the comments and yeah, I really don't it's want be that. Wrong, whatever you say. But this isn't 2015. Andre Iguodala isn't as good a defender as he was back then. Iguodala can't stop LeBron, but in 2015 he definitely put enough pressure on LeBron that it threw him off his game a little bit. And I don't know how capable he's going to be of doing that this year. LeBron James is the best team player in basketball. And he can make his team, all of his teammates play better. He can bring them all up a level. So who knows what's going to happen. LeBron James realistically is going to need to be the best player in every single category on both teams for the Cavaliers to win. He's going to probably he have to be last year. points, rebounds, assists, and who knows, maybe steals and blocks as well for the Cavaliers to win. But you know what? LeBron James is capable of doing just that. Yeah, and in my opinion, if already. LeBron plays like he has been all through this playoffs, which isn't that likely to be honest, because he's been just toying with the opposition and he's not going to be able to toy with the Warriors unless they choke. So anyway, that's the video. I'm not saying that the Cleveland Cavaliers uh, are 100% going saying? to win. As I said at the start, I think this year's finals is too close to call. But I think if the Cleveland Cavaliers do win the NBA championship, these are five reasons why they could do it. So anyway, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I feel you. I feel you. Yeah. I feel him on that. Alright, that's uh another five good reasons. I'm I'm glad I saw these two videos. Uh he gives us some 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 things to think about and the reasons he gave are pretty good. And everybody knows that the number one reason that the Cavs would probably would most likely win is because of LeBron. And Kyrie and the rest of the team playing, <laughs> playing how they supposed to play. Um, yeah, uh, I think I said this in one of the previous videos. The last five times we've played the Warriors, Cavs are four and one against them. The Warriors won that one game at the beginning of this year, and hey, it is what it is, man. Hey, it's gonna. I, I think it's, it's close. It's too close to call, like you said, man. It's. I hope it's a good finals. I think it'll be a good finals, and yeah, I think it's gonna be some good stuff uh, for us to to to, uh, to to watch together. And yeah, man, y'all know what it is. Like, subscribe, and share. And yeah, if you're new, if you t first time watching this channel, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button? It's gonna be one over there, probably one right here, and gonna be one up there. So anyway, y'all know what it is, man. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. See it out. Yeah.